Hey, this is Jana from Behind the Blush, and today I'm bringing you an easy, elegant summer makeup look to see how I achieved Christina's foundation and brows. Take a look at our casual summer makeup tutorial. So to prep her eyes, I'm first using Painterly Paint Pot. It's a really nice skin-toned color, and it's going to ensure that her makeup lasts all day and won't crease. I'm going to be using the Lorac Pro Palette, the colors Light Pink and Cream on the MAC 230 brush and I'm just going to be applying color all over her lid from the eyelashes to the brow bone. I just want to create a nude base for the rest of the eye look. Next I'm going in with the MAC 224 brush and the colors Mauve and Taupe and I'm just going to be working it into the crease using a windshield wiper motion and I'm also bringing it into the outer corner of the eye. To darken Christina's outer corner of her eye I'm using the MAC pencil brush, the 219 brush and Sable and Mauve and I'm just going to be placing the color just in the outer corner. I'm going back in with the 224 brush and the colors Mauve and Taupe just to further blend out her crease. I'm using a clean 286 brush just to buff out the colors and make sure that there's no harsh lines. Then I'm going back in with the 219 brush and a combination of sable and taupe with a little bit of mauve to go underneath the eye. I like the under eye to be kind of smoked out a little bit. Then I'm going in with the NYX Wonder Pencil in Light. It's a new tone color to align the waterline. I forgot to bring my gel liner so to improvise you can use Fix Plus and I'm using the color black shadow to line Christina's lash line and I'm just giving it a little bit of a cat eye and I'm holding her eyelid steady so that if she does have to blink she can blink but it's not going to disturb my eyeliner that I'm trying to place on her. When I'm doing somebody else's eyeliner, I have them look in the opposite direction of where my brush currently is going. So if I'm working on the inner corner, I ask them to look out of the outer corner of their eye. That way that their eye doesn't get scared by the brush coming at them and I have better control of where I'm putting the eyeliner. I forgot to mention also that I'm using the MAC 263 angled brush to apply the liner. I like using an angled brush most of the time. Sometimes I'll switch to a pointed brush to do the inner corner or to do a little bit more fine detailed work. For blush I'm using the MAC 129 brush and the color Blush All Day also from MAC. It's described as a rosy beige. I like using a rosy tone beige when I'm doing a red lip and then I'm also using the highlight color Trace Gold to tie in those warm colors. Next I'm going in with some individual lashes. What I didn't show was that I let the lash glue get tacky for about a minute before I started to apply the lash glue. Then I have Christina look down with her eyes open while I apply the lashes one at a time. The trick is for individual lashes is to have the glue be tacky enough that once you're putting the lashes on they just stay where they are. If the glue is not tacky enough they'll just fall right off of your face. To get that classic 1950s style red lip, I'm using Max Russian Red. It's a matte color, and I'm also using the lip pencil in Cherry to help define the edges. With a red lip, you definitely want to use a lip liner and fill in your entire lip. It just provides a perfect base for your lipstick, and it makes putting on the lipstick a lot easier, especially when it's a matte and can tend to tug at your lips. For matte lipstick, I love using makeup brushes to apply the lipstick. You get a little bit more precise control of where the lipstick's going rather than using the lipstick right from the bullet. And I'm using the Real Techniques Detailer Brush to apply the lipstick on Christina's lips today.
To set her face, I'm spraying it with Fix Plus to make sure it doesn't look powdery. And here's the finished look. If you want to see more makeup tutorials and hair tutorials, check out our other videos. Have a great day!